Hi guys, this is Dr. Bhavesh Gupta, www.transplantmaster.com. Today we are making a video on crown hair transplant. What are the various steps involved in doing a hair transplant in crown region? And what are the various difficulty encounter during doing a crown hair transplant? So crown area is nothing but the whirl area which, which uh, lies here. And it concerns a lot of people around when there is a balding button cell in the crown area. Again, while doing a crown hair transplant, we have to prioritize. In patients who are actively suffering from hair loss or a patient who is completely bald, the first priority should always be given for the hairline area and for the mid scalp area. Only when we have excess graft to cover the crown area, the crown area should be covered. Second thing is if a patient is not bald completely and has uh, a balding pattern only in the crown area, then we have to sit and decide whether he will have ex whether he will experience a hair fall in the front area in future or this is the only genetic pattern what he has. In case we think that he might get completely bald in future, then minimal to minimal graft should be used for the crown area so that we save some amount of graft for future use in the hairline and mid scalp area. Coming to the anatomy of crown area, anatomically crown area is located in such an area that it lies exactly in the center of the scalp. Again, uh, uh, crown area has a skin which is more fibrous in usual in general as compared to the other areas of the scalp. So transplanting or doing a hair transplant in the crown area is little more difficult as compared to doing a transplant in any other areas of the scalp. Secondly, the blood supply and the oxygen saturation. In various studies we have found that the blood supply and oxygen saturation of the crown area or the crown skin on the scalp is little lower as compared to the other areas of the scalp. So the hair growth in that region of the transplant is you can say comparatively little lesser as compared to the uh, hair growth of a transplant in the hairline or mid scalp area. Coming to the density of crown hair transplant, in general if we are doing a hair transplant in the hairline area or in the uh, mid scalp area, we give approximately a density of 50 graph per centimeter square. You can call it 50 follicular unit per centimeter square. But when we are doing a transplant in a crown area specifically in a case where we have thick skin or a fibrous skin, we deliberately try to give a little less density somewhere around 30 to 35 follicular unit per centimeter square. First thing, it will make sure that the growth in the crown area is better and all the grafts which are transplanted in that area grows properly. And secondly, we save enough amount of graft so that we can use in future or in the same setting for the other areas like hairline and mid scalp area. So now we'll come to the slit making process. So while making the slits, we make sure that we are making the slits with 18 gauge blade or a slit blade and the angle and the direction of the slits are parallel or according to the existing whirl pattern in maximum number of cases the patient doesn't get completely bald in the crown area but they have miniaturized hair left so the angle and the direction of the slits are parallel to them so that it makes a complete whirl and we make a complete we get a complete whirl out of the slits while implanting the graft in the crown area first we segregate the graft in singles doubles and triples now single grafts are always harvested in the central area just next to the whirl or the center of the whirl. Alright. Double grafts are uh, implanted just on the periphery or adjacent to the single graft in the next row. So that it gives us a softer appearance in the crown area. And triple grafts are always transplanted at the periphery so that it doesn't give a very coarse look for the crown area or a very artificial look for the crown hair transplant. Now coming to the care after hair transplant. After getting a hair transplant done in the crown area, patient has to take care that the hairs don't pop out from the implanted area because the crown, the skin in the crown area is little more fibrous as we discussed before as compared to other areas of the scalp. While sleeping, he has to make sure that he doesn't rub the crown area against the pillow. So he has to make sure that he uses a baby pillow or keep a normal pillow towards the neck area while sleeping for next three or four days till the graft stabilizes. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.